So Gareth, you know, um, it's very difficult, like you say, you mentioned keeping things current. There's not much cannabis news around. I mean, you've heard Charles talking about some busts here and there and the cops taking chances, looking for cold drink money. But um, we're, we're going to put this letter together to government. But what are your plans for the future? I know it's difficult sitting in lockdown, but what are your immediate thoughts of how we get, say, t give me like a six month period through the winter and out the other side. Have you got anything in the pipeline that you're formulating? is both this summer when they start easing up these regulations is government need to push through pilot projects that is something that they have as part of their executive powers they need to at least I mean, the, the idea is candy farms in each province for pilot projects where we can do the different for seed for fiber for flowers uh, that's the type of project that we need to have something that we can start doing when planting season starts because we're going to need a couple of months of preparation <coughs> in order to do that. So the focus must be on getting plants into the soil. I mean, like, that's how we heal the environment, that's how we heal the economy. So, COVID 19, you know, in before COVID 19, you find that they could have said, Yeah, but we could do this, yeah, we could do that now. They are desperately looking for anything that is going to assist them going forward. And we've got a very viable solution here, something that is quite simplistic, that is not require technological innovation or a lot of investment. However, there is money. We've seen now they just got 500 fucking billion. There is money available <laughs> in order to do these things. And what do we require? Yeah. So, not a lot at all. So the main focus must be pressure on these fuckers that got our tax money in order for them to start directing it where it should be to a sustainable program for the healing of the nation in all spheres you know we've, right. we've made tremendous material advancement over the past 100 years but we've lacked morally we've lacked spiritually and that is where we need to catch up and cannabis is going to assist us to do that you know, so the focus must be on using what we have to get what we want. Well, well, and the ones that are in charge of our resources, they are the ones that must get this message. And they are the ones that need to get their act together. The cannabis community is out there. You know that, you know, also so rap, so so rule. <laughs> We're ready to move, but, you know, they just need to call upon us. They are the ones that need to unlock. Our treasures. Brute, it's so good to hear your positivity, so man. That's, that's yeah. our plan for the, for the future. All right, well, it's really, really, really good to hear your positivity like that. I needed an injection of that because sometimes I get a bit jaded with it, with drug policy mm -hmm. in general. Not so much weed, but the whole big picture of drug policy and just how it's just control and manipulation at the highest level of geopolitics. But when you put it simply like you do, and you've never changed your tune. It's really cool to hear you saying it again, time and time again, uh, uh, Gareth, because, you know, in the last three, four months, I've heard you speak probably four times in big events. Remember, we did Namibia together. Uh, you did the big Canatech stage, uh, East London, that big conference. So it'll be great to be in a place with you at the same time, doing the same thing again. And I'm sure we'll see you on the airwaves somewhere. And... Um, Thank you very much for coming on the show at extremely short notice today, noted. So thank you for being ultra flexible to help us out with a slot. And um, we really uh, send blessings from the Hotbox Show to Gareth and family. And stay safe from those guys in the khaki pants, Brew, because they're psychos. Whoa. What did I lose there? Well, something just completely lost there. I lost the whole, something's dropped. Yeah. Yeah, they say. Cool vibe. Yeah, cool, yeah, sure. Always. See you, Gareth. Thanks a lot, man. I don't know what happened to my camera then. Yes, it's always so super Thank cool. You <laughs> Sweet.
Cheers, guys. Thank you very much, Gareth. Cool, man. Great to hear your voice again. Wow, what a suit. She says, I needed that piece of, um, I needed that positive talk. It's quite difficult to stay positive sometimes. Very inspiring, I must say. Very inspiring. I mean, like you said as well, we've got all the systems ready to be put in play. Well, they've been in play since Prohibition started anyway. And yeah, just leave us, the, the whole gist of what the open letter is, don't change anything, just trust us. Yes. Give us a couple of years to just show you that the sky's not going to fall in because if the sky was going to fall in, we'd be in lockdown like this. So I don't know. Fucking right, man. It's like that. Some positivity, you know what I was saying? <laughs> what do we have to lose, man? The more trees we plant, the better is our ability to get rain. And rain is always a healing, man. Yeah, you can do nothing without it. Let me, I didn't even know you were still there, Gareth. Let me ask you another question, seeing he's still there. Did you see a report this week from Madagascar? The president of Madagascar has bottled uh, Artemisia. And in, I can't remember what it's called I in Zulu. You check it. What do you call it in Zulu? Lagun, Laguna? Lagunda? Lacunda? Shit, it's called Artemisia. I don't know what they call it in that. All right. Well, it's a it's. it's a, a house in Cape Town. Well, you everybody every backyard in Cape Town. A house. Right. So this you guy. Oh, used to grow up with that, mate. Well, the president of Madagascar has bottled it and he's giving it to the population to cure the virus. So the bottom line is, you know, everything we need to stay healthy is around us. Everything's frozen out, I think. That has always been the philosophy of the First Nation peoples all over the world. Although nature might at times present us with severe challenges, the solution to those challenges are always within her. You know, and that's, that's the beauty of life. You know, I mean, and I say to a large extent, South Africans, I mean, we've, we've been in preparation for something like this, you know, man. So it's just a beautiful butterfly that's going to evolve, you know, like from this whole Christmas after this, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Gareth, thanks a lot for that, man. The butterfly and the chrysalis story. <laughs> well, I hope he's right. I think we got quite, we, you know, uh, one thing here, Cyril's like got a Superman thing above here, but below, when you can't see under the table, is like army boots and pants and shit. And it's like this... <clears throat> Double-edged sword of, of stories going on at the moment. Gareth, did you happen to notice that we did a live stream of uh, D-Day the other day, or last Saturday? We did a whole bunch of musicians that were meant to be playing at our fundraiser. We did like a six-hour live stream. That was a lot of fun. Oh, no, sorry, I didn't get that one, right? Okay, well, if you go to... How did it go? Oh, very well, no, it was watched by quite a few people, and it's there, it's like... I think it's coming up to 4,000 views now. It's set in stone. It's on the Ducker Couples YouTube channel. And it's a bunch of local bands. And uh, the crew made some Twizzly bits and stuff. And um, they did really well. It looked very professional. And then two-thirds of the way through the gig, we forgot to load data. The whole show stopped because I had to load more, more data. Say that again. How did you guys pull that off during lockdown? Well, we just did this, exactly like this, but um, we oh, set it we set it up and we kind of choreographed it a bit more, and um, yeah, we pulled it off. It looks quite slick. It's okay. The crew I did it. Virtual, yeah? The, yeah, yeah, totally. The whole thing. I'm sat here, and uh, Joe joined me. We saw Joe and I saw each other.